Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play The Sexy Brutal. Last time we got Thanos Gorecki's mask, which at first glance is a less immediately useful function uh, than you might think, because it basically gives us little bits of backstory as opposed to uh, having a, a practical gameplay application. And you can see all of that stuff here in the brochure part of the menu. And also, uh, the cards also have backstory drops. I completely forgot about that because I, I rarely check the brochure. But rather than reading dozens of lore entries uh, at a time, I will let you all dig into that on your own playthroughs. And you really should have your own playthroughs because this game is just so damn good. And it's not expensive either. It's not a big investment. If you catch this on sale, please pick the Sexy Brutal up. Uh, this is really just wonderful. Oh, and we've come across two of the suits. Looks like... None. Oh, these two! The ones who always finish each other's sandwiches. Yeah. Looks like they're rigging their, their trap for, uh... Red Rock Ridge up. Messing with the power, and we can't spy through this door. Oops. We can hear them going somewhere, the upper right corner of the room, where there is that mirror, and we know exactly where they're going from here. We've seen them come out of that exact mirror, and there are schematics for some kind of explosive uh, on the table as well. So we have such a solid idea of where all of the different servants in the house are all at once. Because we've been seeing their movements. And now we kind of have this idea that the basement might be some kind of staging ground for everyone. And another one walking through a tube up there. Delicate glass tube walkways. By the way, the elevator that we took down here to the basement fun little detail. Oh, and the dumbwaiter. Yeah, we remember that one of the servants dropped the statue arm in the dumbwaiter upstairs, but now we can come get it down here. Um, the heaven and hell room is what we came from. Remember, we got the heaven and hell winding key. Uh, that, the heaven and hell room is that room. Uh, that also has the big staircase in it. Where that staircase leads is the chapel. And the elevator takes you down in the basement. So there you go, that's the origin of that name. A stairway to heaven and the elevator to hell. Uh, so for our first look around here, we really haven't come across all that much. We've got an incidental glimpse of one of the servants walking around through the glass uh, tube walkway. Secret passage in the basement and this isn't floating in. Uh, that was kind of concerning, but we learned of a secret passage. That's always fine. We got one glimpse of, uh, of the servant just now, and we got another glimpse of the pair of servants heading to kill Red. Uh, and Red's partner. And we recognize this, right? right? We, we recognize where we are. Yeah, we've linked these two sets of rooms now. Uh, so we have two ways to get back down into the basement. Uh, this room before was locked off to us. We tried to go left once we took the staircase down. Wouldn't have been an option. But now that we've visited it and unlocked it from the other side, we can move more freely about the mansion. And we have almost the entirety of the Sexy Brutal open to us now. Almost all of it. So we're just piecing a few more key events together and seeing how everything fits. What is going on here? Uh, as we dive into the basement, we are gonna start answering some rather large questions. But first, this place is not like the rest of the mansion. That's really important. 
Behind this statue, I believe there's a door. You need to find a way to open it. If I can talk to him, if I could just see. She can't stay here. Cool. This one is much more of a straight up series of puzzles. Statue screams ma madness. Uh, so we've already kind of wasted a substantial amount of time. About six hours worth. Uh, so we'll just quickly take a pass through all of these rooms, see what's going on here. That room had this cocktail goblet, uh, along with a bucket of water and a tree and a cell. Uh, there's a pinball machine in here that needs a ball to play. We don't have one of those. There are all all of these wirings and, and series of cords running back to that central door. This kind of unnerving clean room where some operations being performed. And this room, which, hmm, won't comment on that too much just yet. Uh, but we have most of the pieces that we need. We just don't have much time. Time is always at a premium in the Sexy Brutal. So we are going to restart the day. And uh, like I said, this is more of a straight-up series of puzzles. It's less observing behaviors and, and patrol routes and what guests are up to. It's less of that investigation. And uh, more of a, a bunch of puzzles all in sh uh, quick succession. So we're going to fast forward to 4 p.m. Because we can't really get the party started until then. Uh, we especially need the statue's arm. And we need a few other things. Uh, which only occur after a certain time. So first off, we'll hit the left series of rooms. Uh, and then we'll move on to the right. I just realized I didn't show the right rooms before. Oh well. Uh, we did start off seeing this one. This room with a cocktail glass. Uh, and the small tree. So we've taken years to grow. It's planted just firmly in the basement. It's very odd. We're gonna fill the goblet up. And we're gonna water the tree. Perhaps a little water will help. Hmm. Doesn't seem to have done anything, but the soil's wet. Book is filled with tally marks. The walls are covered in, uh, scratched in tally marks as well. And a filthy bed behind a cage. Uh, again, we can't go, or we can go, but we can't do anything with the pinball room. Uh, I think the pinball room is either for something later, or you just throw a roulette ball in there and get a, uh, a playing card with some backstory. In the case of this room, even though it seems like there is a logical order to this, uh, I think this is just meant to be trial and errored out. So we do that one, that one, this bottom right button. Now I don't think we hit the one near the patient until last. Note, all of the servants gathered right above the door. And they're coming in one by one and lining up, observing that room. Uh, the bottom left is also irrelevant to us right now. We've gotten power flowing from one source. There's also a, a red braided cable on the left side. Uh, and also, one more thing coming from the right. There's also this. Oh, uh, here's the roulette ball. Uh, and also the, uh, the... The dealer. Who is dealing to Clay Rockridge. Explaining the namesake of the sexy brutal. The alluring and destructive nature of gambling. Uh, but we wa what we wanted the statue's arm for... Uh, is to get this statue... 
functional. So we can pull the arm on this one and reveal a door behind it. And we can follow the tubes back to the relevant rooms. This being uh, the graveyard. So there's a red flower here and three other flowers that we can interact with along with a bunch of other uh, colored roses. Uh, they are non-interactable. So first we are going to just check out the names on the graves. Red and Clay Rock Ridge here. Uh, and then that top right one is the grave of Aram Runes. So despite the fact that we got uh, a lore drop here, if you open up the for sure and check, you don't actually get the solution to the puzzle. Uh, that's it's It's not that complicated. It's just based on mask color. Aurum with the gold mask, Red Rock Ridge with the purple one, etc. So we're just swapping the roses around until we get them in the right order. And finally, we'll bring the gold one up here and swap it out for the red one that we placed earlier. And red goes here, and that opens up one final grave. We have flowers for every other guest, and then a final empty grave. That gets power flowing from the right-hand side. And there's nothing we can do to interact with that yet. Uh, so now... We're actually gonna reset. And we're gonna reset for a good reason. Now, ordinarily, you reset and that would undo all of the progress you've done so far. Uh, it won't undo anything that you've learned, like if you learn about a password, like Eleanor for the bar, or a recipe, like with the Hungry Charm, you can't lose knowledge. But physical objects, we lost. The cocktail goblet, we lost the roulette ball. The curious thing about the basement, though, is that our progress here is not undone. Anything that we have done tied to this central door does not reset with a time loop. And there's one other curious thing that doesn't reset here. I believe the tree has grown a little bit since we watered it in a previous time loop. So we're gonna water it again. And despite this, I think I'm going to repeat this loop one more time. Uh, just to be on the safe side, and then we'll see the results. Alright, so I'm gonna let the next scene speak for itself, uh, but let's just go meet the King in Red.
A, that's the king in red, the eternally suffering engine of the sexy brutal. We have one episode left to go, and we are going to answer all of the remaining questions next time. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.